right, here it is. 2021 YT decoy. This is their core four build, which was previously known as the Pro Race. Um, I had last year's model. The only difference is there's a few of them. Biggest is going to be the new EP8 motor that it now comes with, as well as the Fox 38 fork. The old one had the 36 on it. Um, they also went away from the E13 carbon wheels and now include these Crank Brothers Synthesis Aluminum. I'm a little concerned with these because I've been riding carbon wheels for quite a while and uh, I do like not having to worry about getting flat spots so something to uh, be seen with those. I'll give an update in a few months on those. They also went away from the Fox dropper posts and are using their own postman. Uh, works pretty well so far. They upgraded the seat. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the old seat. The new one, it's still an SDG, but if you see here, it kind of uh, slopes up towards the tail. Um, hopefully it's a little more comfortable. I'll give an update on that as well. They stuck with the same XT cranks and drivetrain, which I'm okay with. I never had an issue with those. Um, and they also stuck with the SRAM RSC brakes, which I am also a fan of. Um, it's got a, a the newer display as well to go along with the EP8. And they also claim that they have used a better carbon quality, um, which I hope is true because the old bike did creak quite a bit, especially in the headset. So, uh, initial impressions, basically riding it from the trailhead to here. Uh, the motor's quieter, seems to put out about the same power, but that is adjustable. Um, that's all I can really say for now. I'm going to go take it for a spin on a few of the trails, and I'll give you guys a little bit of an update afterwards.
Yeah. Greetings, fellow riders and future senders. I give you my post first ride report of said decoy. Um, let's see here. It feels a lot like the old one, except the front end is definitely stiffer with the 38, um, especially high speed shatter. That's noticeable. So I am stoked on that. Um, the rear end feels a little more plush. Now again, brand new bike, everything feels good. Everything's nice and tight. Nothing's been rattled loose over a season of riding. So that could be a, a part of it, but overall the bike felt really good. Um, the headset is not creaking yet. So that's a bonus. Uh, hopefully that lasts. Um, I don't know that I noticed the difference on the wheels. I mentioned earlier, these are aluminum wheels versus the carbon. I don't know if I could tell enough on the flex or the stiffness. Um, probably need a couple more rides to really see any difference in that, if at all. Um, everything else feels pretty much like, like the old one. Um, other than this nice, highly talked about and hyped up EPA motor from Shimano. They said it's more powerful, it's quieter, it's lighter. Um, maybe it is more powerful, maybe it is lighter, but it is not quieter. Um, the pedaling is quieter, but this thing rattles when you're going downhill and hitting bumps so much and it's so loud and I am a total stigler when it comes to a quiet bike. So as of right now, that is really, really um, annoying to me and a huge bummer. It has nothing to do with YT and the design of the bike. It has nothing to do with that. It's just Shimano and this motor design, I thought something was wrong with the bike. I went and read reviews on it. Apparently it's a very well known thing. Um, I don't know how they let it leave the production line like that or how they designed it like that. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. I'm not sure how good this audio is in the garage, but it is. Now that's kind of, I don't know how that sounds on the, the video, but it's really loud. Anybody who has a motor will tell you about it. Um, it's a huge bummer. Everything else on the bike is super quiet, um, but that thing is, is just, I don't know. It is what it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to it, but. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that. That's pretty much all I have for right now. Um, still a great bike, still priced for what it is better than <clears throat> I'd say most bikes out there. And, um, yeah, overall I'm pretty stoked other than the noise that I just can't seem to stop mentioning. Um, so thank you guys for checking out the video. Thanks for subscribing um, For Anthony Send it That one's for you bud and uh, I don't know maybe I'll do like a three month or six month um, Review video after the fact and see if my opinion has changed but That's it for now Keep sending it out there, fellow riders. Hello, puppy. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? You got some floppy ears. You want some beer? Oh, I knew it. She's trying to 
impressed dad. Come on, I know you want some of that. It's not my dog. My dog would have at least have one sip. 